Over the past year, more of us have been spending more time at home and leading more sedentary lives while working from home. That can leave many of us wondering whether we'll ever be able to get back to the active lives we once had. Enter the Sioux Falls Mayor's Fitness Challenge. We're being joined today by Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken, and he's here today to explain why he launched the challenge last year and why he has decided to keep the challenge going for a second year. Welcome, Paul. How hey, are you today? Hey, Brittany. I'm great. How are you? Good. Good. Well, being active, it's a great thing for our community. So let's just go back to last year when the pandemic mm -hmm. hit and you decided to launch this challenge. Yeah, we launched. We did this last year in April. And, and April of last year seems like a million years ago. But if you remember that time, it was tense. People were nervous about COVID. There was tons of media information, misinformation. And I was thinking to myself, how do I get people to... Shut the TV off, no offense, okay? <laughs> yep. Put social media down, get outside, focus on your physical health, which we know benefits your mental health, your emotional health. We just need to get people outside and moving uh, and, and healthy. And so we launched this challenge called 100 Miles in 100 Days just to get people out and active and was really overwhelmed with how many people decided to get off the couch and get outside and, and get moving. And what a great way to hold yourself accountable too, because we'll get into it a little bit more, but there's a hashtag that goes along mm -hmm. with it to post. But not only the physical health, because we did have a lot, most of our gyms closed. Mm -hmm. So working out, our lives were kind of flipped upside down and our routines were shaken. But for the mental health and that aspect of it too, I mean, you can even talk about yourself without having totally. the gym. How did that affect you? Well, you know, yes, study after study shows that your physical health and your, your mental health are, are linked. So... You know, you start the day with a run or a walk or a bike or a swim, uh, you're charged up the rest of the day. You're sharper, you're more focused. Uh, and so with, uh, with COVID being kind of heavy mentally on people, we got to sharpen our mental minds just like we do our physical bodies. And so the physical body is a great way to, uh, to take care of that, to make sure your mind is sharp. So for me personally, uh, you know, it's a big part of my life. I like to work out. I like to run. I like to uh, stay physically fit because I know the impacts that it has on me mentally. Uh, and so, yeah, with gyms being closed, a lot of people rely on their routine. They go to the gym every day during this time or during that time. And when they couldn't do that, we had to kind of create a new avenue, you know, for them to stay healthy. So let's talk about this challenge now, 100 miles in 100 days. So how do I participate? What exactly happens during these 100 days? So what makes it so easy is there's no sign up, there's no form, you just jump in and start participating. It starts this Friday, and really what you do is try and log 100 miles during the next 100 days. That can be biking, running, walking, unicycling, skateboarding, I don't care what you do, just get out and try and log those miles. Uh, and when you are finished, or maybe during your activity, sap, snap a selfie, okay? And use the hashtag 100 miles, 100 days SF. That creates this community. You just see all these pictures of people running and walking, and pictures with their dogs, uh, and it creates this great online community of wellness. And then from that, we'll start to curate those and pick out some kind of inspirational stories, and there'll be prizes that we'll give out along the way as a city. Uh, ultimately culminating with, I think we're going to give away another Trek, nice Trek bicycle at the end. Uh, so it's a fun way for the community to uh, stay involved in community. And you have a fun kickoff happening on Friday, April 23rd, so this yeah. Friday. So tell me a little bit about the, the details. Yeah, so Friday we're going to do the first mile as a community together. Uh, so we're going to be at the Levitt Shell uh, this Friday at noon, uh, April 23rd. Uh, we're going to have a couple special guests there uh, to be announced this week. So um, we're going to walk, run uh, to the falls, do a little loop and back, just kind of kick off this, uh, this season of wellness uh, as one city. Do we get to know who these special guests are, or is it a surprise? It's a surprise because their schedules are still being lined up. But, okay. Uh, but you'll want to be there. It'll be a fun. It looks like the weather's going to turn around. We're going to be probably in the 50s to maybe 60 on Friday. So it'll be a great day to get out and, and log a mile or two. Now, it's easy to get these miles in on a treadmill, inside, indoors, but you're really recommending people to get out in the community and do this outside. Why is that? We've been inside forever, man. You know, it's like, yeah, you can go you slog away on a treadmill, which uh, if you're like me, I hate the treadmill. April's the changing of the seasons. Well, some call it pothole season. I call it spring. You know, <laughs> pothole so season. Spring is here. It's time to get outside and enjoy the weather. And uh, 
it's funny because when you see other people out exercising, it makes you, you know, when you're driving home and you see that person jogging, you're like, God, I should get out and jog today. Look at that person getting at it. And so uh, it inspires other people too. So get out. We have a tremendous bike trail system uh, that will really start getting busy right now. So get outside and enjoy it. Yeah, like you mentioned, the bike trails, we have such a great area, mm -hmm. different trails in our community for people to get out and enjoy as well. But I want to talk to you about why you decided to continue it this year, because now we do have gyms open and people are getting to be more active, getting back into the office. Mm -hmm. But why did you decide to continue it this year? You know, the last year has really made me personally realize how important your physical health is when you go into a pandemic, meaning the healthier you are, when you go into something like this, like, like COVID, the healthier you're gonna be coming out of it. So the people who really got sick uh, from COVID-19, maybe are those who had some underlying health conditions or other things. So taking care of your body is so important. And that's not something that you can just decide to do in a couple days or a couple weeks. It's a, it's a lifestyle change, it's a commitment. So this isn't just a one-time thing to say, hey, we had to last year because gyms were closed. This is a permanent lifestyle change that we're trying to implement in our community. I would love for Sioux Falls to be listed on the you know 10 healthiest cities in the US. You know, and So this is a way that we can you know, get our community energized around physical health and wellness and how important it is. So you see this probably continuing then every single year doing a challenge like this. Absolutely. And you know what's cool is I get people reaching out and say, hey, we're from Florida and we're doing it in Florida. And, you know, we're from DeSmet and we're from Brookings and wherever. So other people around the state and around the region are, are getting involved in this too. So that's really kind of neat to see how it's energized uh, a lot of people outside of this community, outside of Sioux Falls to get healthy. And the response from our community, what have you heard from people that participated last year? People love it. People love it because it's something that uh, running by yourself is hard. But when you know you're doing it with community and there's a bunch of other people doing it at the same time, it's motivation. Working out is hard, but when you're motivated to do it with other people, uh, when you can run with other people, go to the gym with other people, there's that accountability factor mm -hmm. that makes it a lot easier to do. And let's be honest, you know, the, the last year, people have put on weight. Uh, myself included. They call it the COVID-19. You yeah. know, you put on some pounds because you were sitting around, you're guilt eating, you're feeling bad for yourself. Well, it's time to put that away, get out, uh, and get back in shape. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Paul, for joining yeah. us here today and telling us about this challenge. And remember, it's the hashtag 100 miles in 100 days. That's so. it. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Brittany.